Welcome to the Santu Pearls Stock Market Commentary Video, your weekly window on stock market technical conditions, featuring the proprietary bull bear point and figure market breadth summary chart for October 14, 2018. Market Breadth With this past week's market decline, our bull bear point and figure ratio at 0.35 fell from 0.47 last week. The total count of securities in bullish or bearish patterns increased 6% to 3,338. The count of bearish stocks increased 16%, while the count of stocks in bullish patterns decreased 14%. The Sand to Pearls PNF Market Breadth Summary Chart shows us a market now six weeks in bearish territory. Paid subscribers have access to the open office calc data from which the chart is generated. You may become a paid subscriber by visiting s2pmarketsignal.com, clicking Membership, clicking Register, and following the prompts. To receive the weekly Santu Pearls stock market commentary via email, free of charge, simply enter your name and your email address in the spaces provided and click subscribe. The well-known market breadth indicator, the Nasdaq McClellan Summation Index, fell 370 points for the 14th decline in 18 weeks. At a negative 539.01 points, it continues below all eight tops above plus 100 in the last 30 months. It has fallen below the February 2018, the April 2017, and the November 2016 lows, and is now below all four bottoms below minus 100 in the last 30 months. Volume Analysis In this week's volume analysis, the NASDAQ Composite Index ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode, with average daily volume lower than the prior week. In the last two weeks, the NASDAQ had two accumulation days and four distribution days. Accumulation days are counted when the index closes up one higher volume than the prior market day, while distribution days occur when the index closes down on volume higher than the prior market day. Last week also, the NASDAQ ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode on higher average daily volume. Momentum. The CCI 20 daily, now at a negative 169.48, rose from a negative 234.99 last week. At Thursday 10.11 close, the CCI 20 daily had six consecutive days below zero for a Woody's trend change to down. In Woody's CCI trading system, six consecutive bars above or below zero are required for a change of trend. The weekly CCI 20 of the NASDAQ Composite Index began a Woody's uptrend 127 weeks ago, while the daily CCI 20 began a Woody's downtrend this past week. The CCI 20 weekly fell to a negative 130.58 from a positive 40.93 last week, falling below the plus or minus 50 range required for a valid zero line reject long entry signal. Industry rotation the last two weeks. Two of the top five industries are positive and all of the bottom five are negative. Summary, gold and silver and brokers on the top, some tech on the bottom, bullish, Brokers continues in the top five. Bearish, semis, networkers, and disk drives continue in the bottom five. Computer hardware has entered the bottom five. Gold and silver has entered the top five. Focus this week from www.northmantrader.com. Weekly market update. New highs or bust? The following are some key points and charts from this excellent technical market review at this key juncture. Long-term market trends remain intact 
yet charts indicate a market on a knife's edge as significant technical damage has been inflicted. Markets are deeply oversold and the nature of the next rally will determine whether this bull market can survive or if a larger bear market may begin to unfold. The larger message? New highs or bust. In early September, in Lying Highs, I outlined the following, quote, a key test may come for markets in the September-October time frame. If prices can sustain above January highs, the 3042 technical zone may well be reached in 2018. If not, the risk dynamic may shift dramatically, especially if volatility is breaking out of its wedge pattern." End quotes. Here's the updated chart. SPX fell right into the risk zone, tagging the weekly 50 MA, while volatility broke out of its wedge pattern. In process, the 2016 trend line is currently being tested. Why is this chart so important? Because it ticked off a key element missing in the checklist of big market topping patterns. New highs on large negative divergences. We saw warning signs in the individual stock and index charts. Example, here is the NDX. And we just saw the results. As I said on the outset, the technical damage inflicted is severe as markets printed rising wedge breaks and a rejection of new highs. This, several example charts not shown here, is just technically plain ugly as trend line after trend line keeps breaking to the downside. Indeed, the damage is so severe that 3.5 months of relentless summer buying was wiped out in a matter of days. The main point here, negative divergences and weakness underneath on new highs produced a major breakdown from new market highs. And by doing so, markets are following a historic script of eventually far-reaching consequences. The most recent bull market tops came on multi-year channels and or rising wedges that eventually broke their trend support on negative divergences. This current wedge is extremely steep and narrow. The 2009 support trend line has not broken yet, but got awfully close last week. And let's be clear. If this support line sees a sustained break, the bull market is over. Note the key previous trend line saves came in context of record global central bank intervention in 2016 and 2017 and the blow off push over the 1987 trend line in January came on the heels of US tax cuts. The most recent highs again pushed against the trend line and failed again on a negative divergence. The main message for markets, it's a key time here because the potential consequences of a technical breakdown are severe. And let me give you one chart to highlight this, the larger market index, the VTI. Like many of the index charts, it made new highs on a negative divergence. This most recent correction has reconnected with its long-standing support moving average, the weekly 50 MA. And this support tag is highly suggestive of a coming rally, and I'll discuss this further below, but note that the recent highs created a major technical confluence aligning the .382 and the point 50 FIBS with the key price pivots of 2014-2017. This is suggestive that a confirmed break of the bull market would invite a technical price retest to at least 
the point 382 FIB initially, implying that the entire market rally since the U.S. election will be retraced at some stage. But we do not have a confirmed break, and hence I want to take some time and focus on the bullish view, which is the common perspective here. The one says none of the above matters. After all, every single correction since the 2009 lows has been a buying opportunity during this age of permanent intervention and artificial stimulus. The bullish argument, hey, we just tagged the 200-day moving average, and look how magically we closed Friday again above it. And note how oversold we are now. This most recent RSI dip is actually quite historic. Just take a look at the RUT to get the perspective. It's the most oversold reading since the 2011 correction. In short, one can make a solid case here as to why we should see a sizable rally off of these trend line saves and MA reconnects in context of the deep oversold readings either from last week's lows or any new lows. One other chart that should raise some eyebrows. Yes, we are massively oversold, but are we too oversold perhaps indicating this sell-off was different and a bearer of things to come? Sounds counterintuitive until you look at this chart. Last week's decline was so outsized on the oversold front that it printed the largest oversold RSI reading on cumulative NYAD since 2008. That print back then was not a bullish print. It worked off oversold conditions, and the rally it produced failed. If this next rally fails, the 2009 trend line may end up broken, and with it, the bull market. New highs or bust? Thank you for watching this week's Santu Pearls stock market commentary video featuring the proprietary bull bear point and figure market breadth summary chart compiled by Donald Pearl, www.s2pmarketsignal.com. For Santu Pearl's stock market commentary, I'm Cynthia Pearl, hoping that you have been enjoying a peaceful and pleasant weekend, that you are looking forward to a prosperous and productive week coming up, and wishing you true success.